Good morning, fourth graders. Okay, we're gonna start math class off uh, per usual uh, of talking about shape attributes, okay? So get your whiteboards out. I've got mine out right here. And uh, we're gonna draw a shape. That shape is right here, okay? So let me outline it for you. And I want you to draw it as best you can, all right? Let's see, it's this one. Good. All right, so you know the deal. Uh, teachers are gonna pause this in a few seconds here to let you um, draw, write down as many attributes about this shape as you can. First, you wanna name this shape, and then you wanna write down as many things that you can about this shape that are mathematical. You're looking for mathematical terminology, okay? So teachers, uh, pause now. All right, now you're back. Hopefully you had a good discussion about what this shape is and uh, give me some attributes about it. So first of all, this is a pentagon. Pentagon, all right? It's got five sides, all right? So you probably said that out there as one of your attributes. It's got five sides. Not only does it have five sides, oh, there's my little card, it's pentagon, okay? Not only does it have five sides, um, all the sides are congruent, which means that they're all the same length, all right? Everything here. So a pentagon that looks like this with all the sides congruent, uh, which means all the same, uh, means it's a regular pentagon, all right? Because I can make a five-sided polygon that's called a pentagon that doesn't look anything like this, all right? That's not a, that would be an irregular pentagon, all right? Um, you probably said that there are no right angles to, right? So you can, you can categorize things as what it doesn't have. You also said, maybe you said it has five angles, all right? And then if you look closely at those angles, I don't know if you did this or not, but I've got my right angle tool out, and those angles are all greater than right angles. So they're all obtuse angles, okay? Probably said something like that. How about... Um, Parallel lines, are opposite sides parallel? Well, if we could take a quicker look at this, if I look at this side and opposite that would either be this one or that one. And I can tell, like if I extend those lines, they're not, they're gonna cross each other eventually. So a pentagon, a regular pentagon, has doesn't have uh, any parallel sides, uh, par sets parallel lines. Um, you also maybe talked about symmetry, lines of symmetry. Um, when I look at this lines of symmetry, I can see one here, right? I can just fold it over and it would be the same. I could probably do it this way and I could probably do it this way. So I'm thinking it's got three lines of symmetry here, okay? Maybe it's got more. Maybe you looked at it a little bit deeper than I did. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I think that um, it's pretty much self-explained. There are pentagons five sides. There's a famous building in Washington that's got... It's called a pentagon, right? It's where our military is based. Um, a pentagon is also like, I, I'll show you what an irregular pentagon might look like, which might look familiar to you. All right, a lot of you might have seen a shape that looks like this, all right? Doesn't that look like a house? Yeah, that's a pentagon, believe it or not. One, two, three, four, five. But that doesn't have five equal sides. These sides actually appear longer. And you can see that there's right angles on this pentagon, all right? So here, regular pentagon, just a pentagon, okay? All right, well, um, good job today in this. What we're gonna do is come back with our exit ticket. So get ready for that.